Well, good afternoon. Uh, just after doing a little move here now. Very simple. Just open up that gap and let them out of there and into here. Now, I'm going to make this video here. The reason why I'm making this video is I had a comment uh, there about uh, winter grazing. Like, in my head, like, I'm on a 12-month-of-the-year grazing program. So, I'm constantly thinking of uh, how I'm going to get through the winter. And it's on par part and parcel of uh, this grazing system. Well, the question was, am I not wrecking the place? Am I not ploughing up the farm uh, throughout the winter? Well, I'm kind of not. And basically, I'm not. And there's two reasons. There's lots of reasons, I suppose. But the two main reasons is... Well, we'll just start off with one of the reasons. Basically, it's because I'm doing that. I'm getting the cattle to trample down lots of grass on the soil, which I call soil armour, which basically keeps them up off the mud, the soil, the earth underneath. So that's one, uh, one thing that keeps them from wrecking the place. Second is, uh, is cow size. I don't have big charlies or big continental cattle. They're all around 10 hundred weight, in and around that. And even the bull is a small framed, medium frame short horn. And trying to produce uh, small light cattle uh, that can that can stay up without going down to their bellies in the middle of winter on wetland. Now this is wetland, it's as wet as you get. You know, it's, it just wants to grow rushes. If it's left to grow rushes, it'll grow rushes. Wet, heavy, soggy ground. Um, so that's another reason that keeps them up. Also, and the biggest reason is I could not just... Uh, hang on now a sec. I just show you them calves in there. The way they're eating away at them black saddies. But uh, where was I? The biggest reason, yeah or the biggest uh, help that we have out winter and cattle is that if you have a 60 day rotation, so if it's taken you 60 days to get around the farm and you're going around the farm twice, that means that the cattle are literally on a section of ground for 48 hours. So you're not just opening up the gate and letting them out and letting them live on your farm over the whole winter. Because don't you know what they'll do? They'll sleep over here. They'll shite over there. They'll graze all the way down there. And they'll make lovely roads up and down. And it'll look like Spaghetti Junction come March and April. They'll have it destroyed. So basically, when you're out wintering the cattle, the regenerative way, you're literally only having them on your farm for two days two days and if you can't leave an animal out on a farm for actually one day and then two months rest in between and and in our mild Irish climate uh, that place greens up and that bit of grass that you've trampled down will green up again it might not grow but it'll green and it'll wash and it'll be bleached by the sun and be all cleaned up which will be a great bit of picking for them uh, after the Christmas. So one round before the Christmas and one round after the Christmas and you're well on your way then to getting through the winter. So I don't even know, can you see these cats? Well, they're all camouflaged in there. They're left in here now to both sides of the hedges. Now this is wet ground. Let me just go in and show you the wetness. Go on, get up. Oh, them boys loving that scratch. Let me down in here. Hello boys and girls. 
So this place here now hasn't been grazed in 40 days and it wasn't topped either. And we've lots of stuff on it there now. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Well, I'm sinking here already, just to let you know. But them rushes and them long grasses are keeping me up. So that's the story anyhow. You can see actually that with what was knocked the last time I was in here. So that all oh, there and there's the water underneath. I mean this place is wet. The frogs love it anyhow. So they're gonna be in here now for the next uh, 24 hours and we'll move them on down. Um whilst keeping an eye on that place below. That's my priority paddock. That's where I'm going to be going to as soon as I can. But in the next seven days. So basically that's the story. I've closed down now. I have to uh, go home and do a few jobs. So uh, we'll say good luck and goodbye for now.